How to make a plumbing service website. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and the platform that we'll be using is Wix. And the reason why I recommend Wix is because it is beginner friendly. Overall, it's quite easy to use and you can get started for completely free. All you will need to do is go onto Wix.com and from there you are going to create an account using your email address. Once you have created the account, you will be redirected to this dashboard and all you'll need to do is tap on create new site in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on create new site, you will be redirected to a new page and on this new page right on the search bar right here, all you're going to do is type in plumbing and from there you'll see plumbing service. If you want to create a website for a plumber, you could select plumber. You can also select plumbing supply store or if you are doing one for a plumbing trade school, you can also do that. But for this example, we are creating a website for plumbing service. So I'm going to select plumbing service, then I'm going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you are going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, the AI prepares your dashboard. And the beautiful thing about Wix is with its AI, you'll be able to create a beautiful website from one of the templates that it will provide. So this is why it is so popular with beginners. Not only can you get started for free, but also with the templates, you'll be able to create a beautiful website. So once on this page, all you'll need to do now is enter your business name. So let's say I will name this one Plumbing by Jason. So let me do that. Then what is your business address? You will enter your business address right there. Then after doing that, you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Then you would enter your work hours. After doing that, you are going to tap on next. Then from there, you will select the services that you provide. So you can see the different services right here. So for example, service diagnostic, you can select that. Also, if you provide boiler service, you can tap on that. Excuse me, and you can scroll down and select the different services. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on next. Then from there, you can add your staff members. After doing that, you're going to tap on next again. Then if you would like to accept payments online, you can simply tap on accept online payments. If you would like to accept in-person payments, you'll tap on that. And also, if you would like to sell any digital or physical products, you could tap on that. Then you're going to tap on next again. Then you'll tap on continue to dashboard. Once on the dashboard, what I want you to do next is tap right where you see design site in the top right hand corner. You're going to tap on that as now we'll be able to create or edit our template. So all you have to do after tapping on that, you're going to tap right where you see customize a designed template. We're going to tap on pick a template. After you have done that, you can scroll down and you can select any one of these templates as you can see right here. So I'm going to select this one, which is best match. So I'm going to tap on edit. Then you'll be redirected to this page. And this is how your website looks at the moment. What I want you to pay attention to is the left hand menu option. So the first thing you're going to do is tap right where you see add elements. So after tapping on add elements from here, you'll be able to add a new text box if you want, and you can add an image, a button, anything that you would like to add to your website going forward. All you'll need to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner. And from there, you will find the different items that you can add to your website. So all you'll need to do, let's say, for example, you'd like to edit the header section. All you have to do is tap on the section. Then you are going to see quick edit. You'll simply tap on that. Then from the right hand menu option, if you would like to change the name of the website, you can do that. So let's say I want to change the name to simply plumbing. I can do that right there and you can see that the name has changed. Also to add your phone number, you can do it right here. 
or if you would like to add anything else you can do that also once you're finished all you'll have to do is simply go back then from there again you can select any section that you would like to edit another thing that i want you to pay attention to is by going over to the left hand menu option again you're going to tap on the third icon from the top which says pages and menu after tapping on pages and menu you will see all of the pages that are currently on your website so you can see the home page which we are on right now you have services i can select services and you will see the services page you can also see the about page and you can also see the contact us if you would like to add a new page all you have to do is tap on add page at the bottom right here and you'll be able to add a new page also if you would like to delete one of these pages all you have to do is tap on the three dots then tap on delete and that's how to delete or add a page also if you would like to change the color of your website you can tap on site design right where you see the capital a after you have tapped on site design from here if you would like to change the theme you can tap on change theme and you can see the different color concepts right here so let's say i want to use a different color all i would have to do is tap for example on technical right here and you can see that the color scheme has changed and that's basically how to change the color concept of your website so if you'd like it to go back to this color you can simply do that and if you would like to add anything else for example let's say you want to add booking or so on you can simply tap on add apps and from there you'll be redirected to the wix app store on which you can add numerous apps once you're finished setting up your website to your liking all you'll need to do now is tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live but at the moment let me preview it so you can see how it looks so i'm going to tap on preview in the top right hand corner and you can see how the website looks right here so this is how it looks at the moment and if i were to tap on the services page you will see right here our services carpentry plumbing electrical painting maintenance you can see how it looks hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching